scholarship presentations. <coughs> Okay. Uh, at this time, uh, obviously, uh, the big reason we're here is, is to obviously educate ourselves, have a good time, network and learn, but a big function of GITA is to provide scholarship funds to uh, deserving students uh, within North America. And that includes the United States, Canada, Mexico. And uh, this year, uh, we decided to do something a little bit different, and that was to have uh, actually have the scholarships funded by two sponsors. And I'd like to uh, thank uh, the two sponsors who reached out and helped us with that, and that's uh, Quran East and Keystone Consultants, and we'd like to thank them <coughs> for that. And. We also had uh, we had two grand prize winners that, that are going to do a brief presentation of us here, but we also had some scholarship runner-ups. Uh, the scholarship committee was quite impressed with all the uh, abstracts that were submitted this year, and uh, they were just incredible when I read the abstracts, uh, the work that these students are working on. And uh, we would like to thank or congratulate uh, the $500 runner-ups. Uh, Madeline Haynes, uh, she's a senior at Eastern Connecticut State University. Yasser Elia, a grad student at Eastern Michigan University. Benjamin Gressler, a grad student from the Indiana University of Pennsylvania. And Tatiana Kalani, a grad student from Tufts University. So we would like to thank them. Uh, for this year, uh, the winners. <coughs> like to uh, announce our $1,000 grand prize winners, Chad Greenlee, senior from Edinburgh University, and Hugo uh, Villalobos, a uh, grad student from New Mexico State University. At this time, I'd like to have Chad come up and uh, receive his, uh, his prize, and if, uh, if Brent from Quran East could also come up to uh, present him with the check, we would appreciate that. <coughs> And also, uh, if you know, if Brent's been out front and uh, we'd like to welcome him and have him just say a few words about his firm. Okay. First, I'd like to thank Harold and uh, Mark both for allowing me to speak following Dave Doyle. <laughs> I feel a little bit like a sweat sock right now. <laughs> uh, thanks for that. I just want to give you a kind of a high-level overview of our company. Uh, we've been a family-owned corporation since 1954, so we're, uh, we're 63 years old this year. Uh, 
mapping, surveying, and construction. Some of the, the brands that we represent, uh, Sensefly, Topcon, and Sakia. One of the most exciting things right now is Sensefly has a new quarter linear mapping tool. So I would invite you to come out and talk to me a little bit more about that. But what is this great for? Pipelines, roadways, pipelines, <laughs> railroad, and pipeline. <laughs> uh, come out and see us as well as Benny from Parta Vista out by the registration desk in the room right there. Thanks for letting us be part of the uh, presentation. Step off back here. Well, I'd first like to thank Mark um, for appointing me to the scholarship. I was not familiar with any GIS scholarships um, until I joined LinkedIn, and Mark was actually one of my first connections. He seems to be connected with everyone. But uh, I, I asked him for any recommendations on that, and he pointed me to this here conference, so it's an honor to be here in front of all of you today. I will be talking about uh, my internship at the Erie Waterworks. I was a senior at Edinburgh University. I recently graduated roughly three weeks ago in May, and um, I have since taken a GIS technician position in Cannonsburg, right here. Um, I did two internships while I was at Edinburgh, one at Erie Water, one for the university. Um, at the university, I worked with the facilities team and like the, the plow routes and the uh, hydrants on campus. They had never heard of GIS before, so that was kind of an exciting and challenging process to work with them and try to understand, or try to help them understand what the capabilities of GIS could do. But I'm just going to outline some of my uh, projects out there in Waterworks. Oh, no. Okay. This is the first project. Um, first day, a customer called in and asked for a, a mainline extension. I had a whole list of things for my first day at my big internship, and they said, forget everything on that list, you're working on this. <laughs> so I wiped my desk clean and started working on this. This is just uh, parcels. Um, symbology here is just people who are interested, people who aren't. Um, there wasn't a lot of data on my end taken from this, but there was surveys placed for these um, interested parcels for different um, water services involved. A lot of the people in Erie County, um, there's like a big wage gap. So it was either like a clear yes or um, a clear no. The people that were interested said they'd be interested if the price went down. But that was kind of everyone's. This was the critical customer map that we worked on. This saves the customer money instead of just um, PennDOT going out and laying new roads and digging the earth, they could go to Erie Waterworks, 
say that we need this area, we need the main lines mapped um, with specific distances off the uh, off the sidewalks and parcels there. It leaves less room for surprises in there. Um, there was a million dollar main break while I was there. They said that that wasn't that rare of an occurrence. So this is this is like a great conceptual idea, but um, there's always human error involved in this. Every intern at Erie Waterworks are assigned a pressure district. I was assigned the lower end. Every valve and hydrant was placed by the technicians, but we edit these things through ArcSD. Um, we would go out for any new installation or removal. We would use Trimble's uh, handheld units. We used uh, the InSphere Cloud and Terraflex for uh, data sharing. We had we just used different themes for this. All the technology <coughs> is this is placed for the county, so there's not a lot of cartographic uh, creativity for this. This is the main break density. We're working with pipes from the early 1900s. You can expect to see a lot of breaks in Erie County with the brutal cold winters. The two reasons for the hot spots there are the age of the pipe and the material. Um, some of the pipes were still um, lead pipes. Some of the pipes we looked at were installed in 1903. It's kind of easy to see why the hot spots pop up were there, but that's, that's from the material of the pipe itself. This is the experience that I gained. Um, all of these projects contributed to this. I worked with uh, two GIS technicians. They have a developer and then, of course, the GIS <coughs> coordinator. They have all went to Edinburgh University, so that's kind of a, a cool little side note for your waterworks. It was working with people who have went through the same course load. They knew what I knew. Or really, they knew considerably more than I knew, but we studied the same things at Edinburgh. The big reason why the GIS team is still in place there is because it saves time and money. A lot of the people that work for the Erie Waterworks are older. Um, everyone for the GIS team is under 35. But the maintenance basically starts at 35 and up. They don't like GIS. They don't like that they have these computers. They don't like that they have to use these handheld GPS units with very small buttons. It's a very uh, stubborn group of individuals to work with. So it was, it was cool to get to know them and see that they're qualms with it. And I think that it helps um, the developing side, how to make it easier big buttons would honestly be a huge uh, impact for these GPS units. But um, for the design one call map on the right there, it keeps assets easily available. Any curve valve is named, it's numbered. It's, um, you don't run into a lot of new assets in Erie. They did just acquire Mill Creek Township. That's 60,000 new curve valves, so that's job security, if anything else. Um, they, they looked again at the, the densities of the main breaks in Erie, and it was because of the ductile iron giving away in the wintertime. But it, it, uh, it connects a lot of the dots for Erie Waterworks. That's it. Thank you again to Mark for uh, pointing me to this, and uh, thanks for the, uh, the money. It's greatly appreciated as a recent college graduate. <laughs> I have um, one, one question for you, Chad. Are you, are you employed yet, full time? I am. I'm working at, uh, well, hopefully next week will be my first week at uh, DT Energy. Oh! I don't know if that's anyone's rival or if <laughs> anybody is here. But, uh, uh, yeah. well, very good. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay.